Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. So I've had some amazing suggestions from my very clever um, subscribers and you guys are awesome. Um, let me just say, first of all, the response to this, um, <laughs> these crocheted items has just blown me away. Um, I think that they're amazing, but um, I'm glad that you guys liked it too. So um, because of that, I kind of, you know, tried to branch out and do some um, different things. And I also took some suggestions, like I said, from my amazingly clever um, subscribers. And I'm gonna share those with you today too. But first, um, I wanted to show you how the little um, booklet ended up. Well, it's not really a booklet. It's just a, um, you know, it could be a booklet. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I just wanted to show you how cute it ended up once I um, crocheted around it. I'm in love with this. Uh, all right, sorry about that. Um, and then I was, I thought, you know, this doesn't have to just be paper, right? So I pulled out um, some of the pieces that I got from um, BB Craft, some of the metal um, filigree pieces. And this was the first one I did and I'm not um, terribly happy with it. Um, I didn't do the blanket stitch because, you know, there were such big areas. I just went ahead and, and crocheted around the metal. Um, I'm not, you know, it's not my favorite. I feel like it just looks a little bit ugh, blah. Um, maybe I could add something to it and kind of jazz it up a little bit, um, you know. But anyway, that was the first piece I did. And then I pulled this one out because I think this will go very well in my Alice journal. Um, it has the the hearts around the outside and then it has flowers on the inside. And this time I did do the blanket stitch in between each of the hearts. And then I crocheted around and I absolutely love this. Um, I think it turned out really cute and I'm super excited um, to use it in my Alice journal. Um, if you didn't watch the video before this one, um, you can go back and see, you know, kind of, I kind of did the blanket stitch and, and that kind of thing. Um, and you can see what I'm, what I mean when I say crocheting, you know, how I did this. Um, but I just wanted to show you because I love it. I mean, I just love it. All right. So now let's get to my amazingly clever subscribers. So Diane Duncan, um, gave me this idea. So if you remember in the last video, this ended up only having um, two shells and I didn't like how it looked um, at all. And the more I looked at it, the more I disliked it. Um, so Diane's idea, and I did that and I'll show you on the back so you can kind of see what I'm talking about, was to just add another crocheted um, cluster or shell on top of the two that I already had. And that helped, um, that really helped a lot. Um, but then I was kind of left with um, sort of like a, I don't know if you can see, sort of like just kind of a gaping area here in the middle um, where I, you know, crocheted the extra shell. So I just added some fabric and some lace and some flat back pearls. And now I, I don't, um, I don't hate this piece anymore. I really like it. So thank you, Diane, for the idea of the extra shell. That was, um, that really, really did help. And it, it probably would have been fine um, just like that, but I get carried away. So if you find yourself with an uneven number of shells um, due to, you know, the space you have and, you know, whatever, um, just add another one on top or add another row or whatever. Um, and that, that was a great idea, Diane, so thank you. Um, the next two ideas I'm kind of combining um, into one here. Um, Cindy Henry uh, had an idea that just kind of exploded um, when I heard it in my brain. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so perfect. Um, so I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna do it for the first time right here. <laughs> on camera, it's probably not the best idea. Um, but her idea was to add little beads to the blanket stitch. So I'm gonna do that. And Nell Covington um, gave me a tip on the blanket stitch. Now, when I demonstrated it in the last video, I started here in this far left hole and I went this way. Um, her idea was to start here on the right and she thought that it might be um, easier 
to go in that direction. Now, I did try that, and I think if I had learned that way, um, yes, I, it would have been much easier. However, I learned this way, and I've always done it left to right, so it was quite awkward for me. But um, I think if you're just starting out, you know, and you're just learning the blanket stitch, maybe it would be easier to go from right to left. Um, however, in the process of trying to um, improvise on that, I guess, I did determine that it is easier to work this, you know, from, from still from left to right, but in this upward direction as opposed to this direction. Does that make sense? So I'll show you as we go. So now thank you so much for that um, for that tip. And, and like I said, I think it's um, it is a great tip. I it just was awkward for me, but that doesn't mean that it wouldn't be better for um, for some of you. So give that a try if you're having trouble working from left to right. But I'm going to go ahead and um, see how this works out adding beads to my um, my blanket stitch and my idea is that I will add a bead every time I come up through a hole so we'll see how that works um, and I'll, I'll try to kind of show you what I mean so um, hopefully this needle and thread <laughs> Well, yeah, okay, because these are a little tiny seed beads. So I will show you what I mean here. And I'm going to try to stay on camera because I know that um, I, I had a little bit of trouble with that in the last video. Okay, so basically what I've done is I have come up through to start my blanket stitch and I have attached a bead to that, um, you know, right to that now. I'm gonna come up through that hole again, and I'm not gonna go through the bead because I think that probably is not gonna to work too great, but I'm still gonna um, wrap twice around my needle, and I'm gonna hold that in place. Um, that will kind of create a knot uh, for me, hopefully. I'm gonna to try to stay in frame here. All right, so there is our first little stitch and I'm just kind of rearranging here. All right, so can you see, see the bead on there? All right, so let's keep going and I think it'll become clearer. So I'm gonna come up in the next hole and I'm gonna add my next bead. Okay, and when you do the blanket stitch, remember that you want, I'm gonna get that out of the way here. Come up, you're always gonna come up from the bottom and then you're gonna have this loop and you want to go through and back down with that loop. Now, I didn't, I just wanna make sure that my bead stays here. So I'm just kind of holding that with my thumb and kind of just moving it as I go. It's a bit fiddly, but I think it's gonna look really pretty. All right, so there we go. So there is our first little blanket stitch We've got beads there. All right, now we're gonna come up through the next hole, okay? And we'll add the next bead. I'm gonna hold that. I'm gonna try and hold that <laughs> there. And then once our loop all right, so there we have our loop. We're gonna go down in there. And this this was much easier, um, you know, once I started doing it this way. So now thank you for giving me the, you know, the tip. And then, you know, I kind of, I kind of uh, worked off of that. 
and it made it easier for myself. So, all right, so I'm gonna keep going, but I'm gonna, let's see, I'll do one more so you can see. All right, so I'm coming up from the bottom. Well, oh, <laughs> Pixie heard something. All right, so I've come up from the bottom with my needle. I'm gonna add my bead here, like that. And I will pull that through. And then once I have my little loop here, I'm just gonna put my needle through that and come back down. All right, so I'm gonna keep going and I will, um, I'll speed this up a little bit so that, you know, you don't have to watch all the fiddly work. And then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. That's fiddly. <laughs> oh, my hands do not um, are not very happy with me right now. But it look how adorable it it comes out. I love that so much. And there are so many different um, things I'm thinking in my head. Like um, I use all pink, you know, seed beads here. But oh my gosh, you could use you could do you know you could do different colors. You could do different sizes. Um, Oh my gosh, the possibilities are endless. So thank you, Cindy and Diane and Nell for your amazing suggestions. Um, uh, but I, I really, I really like this. So I'm going to go ahead and I will crochet, you know, I'll do my, um, my shell stitches. Let me go ahead and uh, make a knot back here. Um, and then I will, um, I'll come back and show you the finished results. Um, but I know that I am going to love how this looks. This is, oh, I'm seriously, I've just all weekend, I've been like, okay, what else can I crochet on? <laughs> and um, yeah, so I, I, I don't know. This is kind of, um, this is addicting, but my, my poor hands. <laughs> So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, crochet um, along here and I, I won't, I won't make you watch that again, um, you know, because I did it in the last video. If you haven't watched that video and you want to, um, you want to see what I did, you know, how I did that, you can and go and uh, check that out. I'll link it at the very end of this video, but um, yeah, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I have finished crocheting my um, my shells onto my blanket stitch. So I just wanted to show you how stinking adorable is that with the beads. So, so cute. So Cindy, that was a fabulous idea. Um, I am, yeah, I am in love. I need to crochet all the things and uh, add beads because that is just too cute. So that will be an adorable little, um, probably a tuck spot. I went ahead and added um, my packing tape, I don't know if you can see that, to the back, um, just, you know, to hold everything down. Um, but I am in love with that. So, all right guys, I hope that this was um, fun and inspiring for you. Um, you know, I think we all have such, um, creative minds and I love that, you know, I have viewers and subscribers that are willing to share their amazing ideas with me. Um, and then I can pass them along to others. So thank you so much, um, Nell, Diane and Cindy and all of the other, um, people that have, you know, offered, um, offered up ideas. Um, 
you know, in on different videos. I it's it's fun for me to learn new things, um, and you know, I think it's it's uh, it's exciting. <laughs> so I just wanted to, um, you know, share that with you. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Um, I'm gonna be back soon, probably on Wednesday. Um, I think, yeah, I'll do it on Wednesday. Um, I have exceeded 2,500 subscribers and I did say a few videos ago that when I got to 2,500, um, I would do a giveaway. And this is going to be a very um, special giveaway. And I was inspired by um, Junie Desiree. I think that is how you say her name. Um, and if you, I will, um, in the giveaway video, I will link uh, to her channel. But um, anyway, she did something really fabulous and it just um, inspired me to do something uh, similar. So, well, uh, kind of the same actually. Um, anyway, so stay tuned. If you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out. Um, when I make that announcement and it will be this Wednesday at some point. Um, yeah. All right, guys, have a fabulous day and I will talk to you soon. Stay safe, stay healthy and, uh, and take care. Bye.